So here we're looking at the second line themes, uh, Gumbo in particular, that's the one I'm going to go for. Uh, they have a selection of different themes, uh, but you can choose the one that you like. I like Gumbo for its simplicity as a player on the front page. Uh, and I'm going to install it into this WordPress site here. So we go to Appearance and then go to Themes. Uh, this is a relatively new WordPress install. Of course, if you want to find out how to actually install WordPress, create that website in the first place, just go over to thepodcasthost.com forward slash website. And we have a full guide to actually creating the website itself there. But here, all we're going to do is add the theme. So I've downloaded the Gumbo theme from the Second Line Themes website. I'm going to click Upload Theme and I'm going to drag it on here. So I've got the main Gumbo theme. I'm going to install that. You'll see that it'll appear just down the bottom once it's done. Uh, you can go to the themes page again and we'll see it on the list now. Gumbo second line. I'm going to install the child theme as well because you want to be working with a child theme if you think you might make any customizations to it in the future, like get in there and mess around with the CSS. Even if you don't do that, if you don't uh, mess around with the code yourself, a coder or a developer might do it for you in future. So it's worthwhile starting with the child theme since second line themes give you one to play with. So here we go, installing the child theme. Now, if I activate the child theme, and then go back to the front page. You see, well, you see first that it's active here. You've got the main one there, you've got the child theme. And if I go to the front page now, you can see that it's now in the Gumbo theme. Okay, so that's our starting point. This is what it looks like just with the very beginning of a WordPress blog. So obviously there's only, there's only one post here. It's just called Hello World. Uh, we're just showing the feed of posts. So let's look next at how you customize it. So it looks like a, a really good inviting podcast website. So the first thing we want to do is to install the plugins that are recommended by the theme. Some of these are some of these are required so that the theme will actually work. Uh, some are just add-ons. But let's begin to install them all just now, uh, just to start with. For a start, we want to use PowerPress to uh, to actually create podcast posts, and obviously that's the point of this whole thing. We want to create podcast posts. Uh, so these are all now installed. Get a few little warnings there, but hopefully that'll be just fine. Yeah, we can see that installations and activations are completed at the bottom, so all good. Return to the dashboard. And we'll see if we go into plugins now. That, for example, PowerPress is now installed, and that's what we're going to use to create our first podcast post in a little while. Now, another way to do that and also to get a bit of extra help is to go to Appearance and Theme Setup Wizard here. And if you go in there, it'll actually take you through a few different setup uh, items. Now, uh, first it'll go to, yeah, so the child theme's already installed. That's all good. We've done that, although it would help you there. Uh, we can activate it, so I'll just do that just now. So all I did there was pause the video, put in my activation key, because you need your own, of course. But you'll get that when you buy the theme. Put that in and then that'll say you're all set. Now, we want to probably import some content. You might not want to do this yourself, but it does bring in some themes for the page builder. It does set things up quite well. So it could be a good idea. If you want to start from a blank page and just create your own site from scratch, then don't do this. But I'm going to import the demo content so that we can at least have a, a place to start from in terms of where we're creating this, uh, this site. So I'm going to click import and it starts to import that demo content now. So it's going to set it up to look like the Gumbo theme on the, uh, the demo site. For example, you're looking through the, uh, the page here, you see the Gumbo. Uh, and if we click that, that's the demo site here. So this is what it's going to set it up to look like. And we can work from there when building our own site. So let's pop back over there. I'll just pause here until that completes. And this is what you'll see when that's finished, when all the imported data is done. So if I now click view your website, you'll see it's no longer a blank website and it's actually got a, a demo podcast in there. So we'll see how it looks. Okay, so we've got a player up the top. One of the things I like about this theme, the fact that it goes straight into the podcast. People can hit the front page, they can play the podcast right away. They can actually scroll through episodes right from here as well. I really like that about this theme.
And then you scroll down and you can actually see the index of old episodes too. And you can play them as well. I love the fact that this is just right in front of you. You can just play right away. There's no hiding it away. It's audio first rather than text and image first. So that's us got the building blocks for our site. We've got about us pages. We've got contact us pages. They're one of the reasons I like to import data. We're going to have to delete a bunch of stuff. Obviously, we're going to have to delete some of these uh, example podcast episodes, but that's fine. It's good to have the building blocks there to start with. So let's have a look at now how we create podcast episodes. Let's jump into the dashboard, create a new post, and we'll look at how to create a podcast episode in here. So once it loads up, we'll click add new post and then we'll see the tools. We're going to use Blueberry PowerPress. Now Blueberry is a hosting platform, so you can use Blueberry as your hosting with second line themes, but you don't need to. Uh, it does make things slightly simpler because if you are using Blueberry, what you would do is all you do is type in, so my podcast title. And then you type in your show notes here. Here are my show notes. Uh, and you would type in everything there. So you'd have all your text for a big long post, all about your show notes that accompany the show itself. And then when you come down here, you would link to media hosted on Blueberry. And from there, if you have linked up your Blueberry account, sign up for Blueberry hosting, um, click here to link Blueberry account. If that's loaded up, it means that you can upload your audio directly here. You would actually just send it straight in there. So it's just a one location process. The alternative, of course, is that if you're using a different type of hosting, you would then upload it to the host itself and bring it back here. So to give you an example, uh, we use Buzzsprout as our hosting for PodCraft. So if I go over to my Buzzsprout account, You'll see them all here. And what I would do is I would upload a new episode. I'd create a new episode. You'd end up with something like this. And then I just need to find the URL of the audio itself. And I do that over here on the right, email or embed this episode. If I do that, I get a direct link to MP3 here. So if I copy that and then copy that into the media URL, then I can verify and I'm getting that error just because Buzzsprout does put this little variable on the end, the question mark download equals true. So, but if I delete that, take that off, so it just finishes with MP3, it's directly linking to the MP3 file, verify, and that's it, okay. And that is one way to do it. Now, if I publish that, publish the post, and we go and have a look at it, view post, then we'll see that we have my podcast title. We have all the text in there. And the PowerPress plugin is creating an RSS feed based on that audio. The one thing you'll see though, is that there's no player, is there? So to get that, we need to go back in here. Let's go back to edit the post and you'll see that there's another block at the bottom here, embed external code. So what I'm gonna do Let's take this embed code, again from Buzzsprout. You can do this from any other host, so Libsyn, SoundCloud, any other ones. Paste that in. And then, you can actually, there's a few nice options here. You've got um, featured images, image gallery, that type of stuff, to make it all look good. Update that now. And if I now go and view the post, it should well show the player at the top. Let's have a look, yeah. So now we've got the Buzzsprout player directly in the top there. And that player will appear based on whatever you're using, whatever hosting you're using. So the Libsyn player might show up there, the SoundCloud player, whatever it might be, will show up there. If I go back to the front page, you'll see that that podcast now shows up at the top as well of the index. Great, so that's the first one that appears. If I go down, it'll appear down here. Well, I said, no, that's the archive, so it doesn't show there. But if I do the episode list, it should show as the most recent in the archive. That's the one. Okay. Now, if we go back here, because that didn't uh, behave exactly how I expected, I want to try creating another post, because I think that we should be able to create a post that has a player just like this at the top. 
just by uh, putting in a direct link from one of our other ones. Let me try this again, right? Episode five, say, da, 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 da. put in those. And I think all we need to do is put in that MP3 link again. So that's the MP3 link directly from Buzzsprout. Yep, uh, verify URL. I'm gonna publish that again. Let's see what happens. View post. And that's more like it. So the player shows up. That's what I expected the first time. So rather than embedding the Buzzsprout player, which looks good, but you might have a player or a host that doesn't have quite nice, so nice looking players possibly. So you might not want one of their players, or you just want to use the gumbo built in ones because I think these are really nice. So that actually plays the, the podcast or it lets people download as well. So it's really good that way. Alrighty. So that is the gumbo theme. That's how you create podcast episodes. And again, you've got a few other templates in here. You've got an About Us page started, so you can go in there. You can just uh, update that, put your own photos in, your own detail, uh, update these links. So you've got something to build from. You've got a Contact Us page ready built there so that you can then link that up to your own uh, your own email. Uh, change the address, obviously, to show to, uh, to your own location. All that stuff. So it's a good place to build from. I hope that's given you a good guide on how to set up the second line theme, what it looks like, how it works in terms of creating new episodes, how easy it is to create new episodes. But if you have any other questions, obviously get in touch via the contact page or pop them in the comments below.